All right, so here, this is a really weird, it's very quiet anywhere outside of this little zone. But as soon as you get in here, you get a lot of um, sheet metal and stuff. Very buggy right now. But this part, to me, that sounds more stable. It's a 91 signal. And this is like some interesting glassware. I mean, you know, if I move some of this around, you know, some of that doesn't look too terribly old. But, uh, you know, I don't know. That looks pretty old to me. It's just thinner. You can still see it's embossed, though. Um, so I kind of just knocked this stuff over. I don't know if this is somewhere that someone just set this stuff and then shot it all. But... We're gonna see if we can't find this one target anyway. Like <laughs> nail. All right. Let's turn this off. had to be what this was because this is like a brass target. I don't know what this is though. Interesting. This bottle though, this bottle looks interesting to me. You always wonder. Yeah, there's a complete one. Nice. This. That's very loud. <laughs> 95 96 and it sounds clean but like a big yeah, it's right here ah that's a pretty cool target right there I believe they call that a trap trapezoidal buckle So there's our target. That's why it sounded so pure and it was big. I mean, those things are pretty freaky, you know, pretty freaking old right there. So it's good to sneak that right out of the surface. So we'll keep that with our bottle here, which is not as old. That's not nearly as old, I can tell you that right now. All right, same hole again. It's a mixed signal. It's a mixed signal. <clears throat> ah. Looks like we got ourselves a suspender buckle off some kind here. All right. Maybe we can get a little, you know, just a, Looks like leather, still some gilt on there. Cool. All right, we'll stick it in the old, the old box. We'll go to the next target. Tone. Pretty sharp, but pretty pure. It's loud. So we're going in pinpointer. There are some big, big targets here. Like, and I don't necessarily mean that they're just like big iron. I mean, this could be a big iron target, but probably there's sheet metal surrounding this. And uh, it's totally masking signals and the like. Look at that, I can't set the pinpointer down because it's going nuts. So we're gonna kind of just pry And gently saw through there. Because you don't know, maybe there's bottles there or something. Okay. Lots of glass. 
Okay, so here's our plug. You can see there's a bunch of glass and stuff there. And there's a piece of iron, tin rather. That's actually the top of a glass. But I still think there's something in here. More tin, more tin. I'm saying I think there's a non-ferrous target in here. Let's see what you're hearing is some of the leaves that obviously didn't come out of the hole. Oh, there it is. It was a non-ferrous signal. So I don't know what the heck this is. It looks like some kind of a. Uh... Gosh, you know I don't know. I don't know on this one. I don't think it's parasol part. To me, it looks like a burner off something. Okay, we're gonna be a little more careful here. This is right where that glass, a lot of that glass is, so the last thing I wanna do is, you know, damage something that might've been savable. Ooh, what do we got? This one. Oh, we got another complete. No embossing on that one, though. So we'll set that aside. All right, this signal. Ninety six, kind of a decent tone. I'm gonna move that. Get this out of here. Ha! There it is. Another uh, trap buckle. Trapezoidal buckle. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. I like it. So it looks like we've got ourselves maybe a service find here. I don't know how old this one is. Probably not. The more I'm looking at it. Oh no, it is an old one. Look at that. Excelsior, Excelsior <laughs> Bottle Works, Schenectady. These are late 1800s. I had, uh, I had someone look that up for me that was a bottle expert. It's local. So I'm not sure. We're at, me and my buddy Mike over here, Mike Kelly. We're over at, uh, you can see this kind of flat spot. Levels off here a little bit. I'm sure how the camera angle is, but... I think there used to be a home site here. The first target of the day. We're on the second day here of hunting in the woods. Old square nail, that's about it. There. He's got a square nail. And I'm not quite sure what this says. I mean, I can see like GS or CS. But there's something in the middle. To me, it threads into a piece of wood. So maybe like the handle to an old saw or something like that. Alright, let's keep going. All right, so we're using the HF coil here, kind of an iron sifting coil the way I use it, but. Notchy signal. Could very easily be ironed. This thing wakes up ground that was once quiet by making every little piece of crap sound really good. And the good stuff sound amazing. Most likely in the hole. Let's get in there. Okay. Pull this little scoop here. Okay. No. Here's our target. So I think that might have been a saw part because that to me looks like the other end of one. Threaded with a flat notch. So it might have been a saw left here at one point in time. Definitely my best signal of the day right here. 
95, 96. Very clean tone. Solid and narrow. So we're gonna kinda go out around this one. a quarter. Eh, might be silver. I'm take out the old my re reunited foo foo juice here. Nineteen forty one. She's Sylvie. What do you got for a number? Fifty. 47. And that goes positive 150, negative 100? Is that what that machine does? 100, 100. 100, 100. 100 to negative 100. So it's a decent target then. All right? Probably shotgun shell. Oh yeah. We like getting them today. See what it hits on this machine. Huh? Wow, it's 76. Yeah. That's really loud. Shotgun. I don't know if a shotgun show would be that loud for me. Huh. Huh. What do you got? Huh. I don't know. <laughs> ah, that's pretty. Back of a What's... pocket watch? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got a lot of fancy on there. My baby. Oh, it sounded kind of wide actually. Yeah. His numbers weren't terribly great, but. Here. Yeah. Wanna, you want to foo it out, huh? Yeah. And we'll wipe her down a little bit. <laughs> nice. Hey, I finally found something. Yeah. It is in a shotgun shell today. Gosh, it's got to be pocket watch related. You know, I don't know with that, that or like a compress yeah, or something. Yeah, a compact maybe. It's just de it's heavy for a compact. Yeah. Silver plated and stuff. Wait. More parts. Oh come on, Mike. There's more in there. <laughs> oh yeah. That's we might get an answer yet. That's what's making it um kind of a dirty sound. Oh, oh there yeah. it is. Other half. Oh yeah. Uh, compress, uh, compact. Yeah. <laughs> Got us a mirror and everything. Looky there. That's a nice one. Yeah, it is. Gosh, it blows my mind stuff like this being way out in the woods. Yeah. You somebody know? walk along, somebody got yep. home and You were right. <laughs> you were <my> right. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap up the finds for the past two days here, real quick, between me and Mike hunting. So, this is kind of like my stuff right here. Got a couple of these buckles. Batwing. Yeah, batwing. I think I've also heard them called trapezoidal buckles. Uh, piece of suspender, umbrella, slide, sinker. Got this uh, musket ball from an area. This looks like more of a pistol ball to me, but uh, this was where there's supposedly some Revolutionary War activity. I think this is going to be some kind of saw part. Is right near this one here. Mike tells me this is part of a curry cone. Got ourselves one silver. It's a 41S. So she's been she's been uh, on a journey. There's the three bottles that came out of that uh, bottle dump there. Some shotgun shells, and Mike got this pretty neat, pretty neat compact way out in the woods. Still has an intact mirror. 
some rouge in there or something, silver plated. Bring up pretty high. All right. Have a good one.